What's up everybody? David McCumber here, artist from Cape May, New Jersey. And today we are going to do a review, unboxing, demonstration of the Bard Creative Camera Kit. The uh, folks at Bard sent this to me to give my uh, review and we're gonna check it out. So if you're into cameras, if you're an artist, if you're in an artist that's in the cameras, this is for you. All right, so let's go over to the desk and we'll do a little unboxing and check out what's inside. All right, so this is the Bard creative camera kit and the box is pretty sweet oh look at this comes with a fancy dancy carrying case quick guide with a ruler in case you need to measure a fish that you caught make sure it's legal comes with a micro SD card which is super cool I always hate when you buy cameras and it doesn't come with that batteries USB cords some clamps is in here oh so this side of the pouch is like a little um, accessories carrying case this is uh, some sort of clamp I'm gonna have to read the directions to figure out what this is camera is in here here's the camera time-lapse camera that's the uh, the features of this camera or the special thing about this camera is it a super duper awesome time-lapse camera all right so I got the batteries all in here it takes uh, two AAA batteries and then you can get a an ad it comes with an adapter you can actually put two more AAA batteries in here um, I'm not really sure how long the battery life lasts I was a little disappointed that it didn't have like a rechargeable battery inside but um, it does have a USB input and you can actually plug it in to a USB charger and run it off the power while you're filming. So it's super simple, the interface, it's a time-lapse camera. It basically, you turn it on and then on the back it has a, a couple different settings um, based off of what you might be filming for indoor and outdoor. So I have it set now to detailed craft work, which is for painting and it says video length 36 seconds per hour so if I want to film for one hour it's going to make a 30 second video automatically but that's it and then it has a viewfinder on the back and you just let her rip what's going to be important for me is the quality size sold on it and also the tripod that comes with it I'm really digging this so real quick so this is the like tripod monopod clamp thing that comes with it and it's super versatile so you have this clamp that clamps onto your table. Take this, clamp it onto your table. You can also clamp it onto your easel. Check this out. Cool piece of design. This is also a monopod. So if you want to just kind of set up a little monopod, the head tilts, the three axis tilt little head, extension like that. So it can be a monopod that you put on a counter or you can clip it to your easel, mount the camera straight down been doing your drawings that comes in the package as well but let's see what this thing does all right so I got the tripod here set up or the arm pod whatever it is and I'm a little disappointed that I I actually want this to be able to turn so that the camera is actually here because when I'm painting I'm gonna be standing right in front of the camera so I like this idea of clipping it to the top of the easel and then filming but um so i'm just going to hit pause on the review here real quick i actually figured out that you can loosen this and it actually rotates to the side and you can mount the camera here and it not be in the way of your uh of your painting but i do like this tripod so far back to the review all right let's get started let's start with some paint
All right, so the video is done. I'm going to edit some of the uh, video. Wasn't really excited when I took the memory card out and put it in the Mac and realized that they're AVI files and Macs can't read them. So now I had to download a file converter onto the Mac and now I have to one by one convert 23 video files into a way that I could edit them. So that is a real major drawback to the camera. So yeah, I'm really kind of bummed about that. But I'm stoked how the painting turned out and hopefully we get some cool time lapse of the, of the video of the painting happening. So I'm going to uh, convert these files and edit it, see what the videos look like and hope you enjoy. All right, well, that's rendering. Um, that was my review of the Brino time-lapse camera. Uh, I think it retails at like 465. Uh, it's really gonna be hard to battle the GoPro, which um, I don't know offhand what it retails at. I mean, there's a bunch of GoPros, but um, the batteries, you know, doing time lapse over like three days, a couple hours of time lapse. Batteries that come with it, double A's that come with it, um, use about half. So if you were to do uh, some long time lapses, uh, you'd want to plug it into the USB, which could be frustrating because the USB plug wouldn't be long enough if it was on the tripod. So you need an extension cord. Just you know, another thing to have uh, laying around in the get in the studio. But I was told by the manufacturer that if you were to do like a long, 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 like a week long mural or something, and you were just taking like one photo an hour uh, over a really long time. Long the batteries would last the whole time. That's kind of a cool thing, but usually my murals are done in two days. So if you were to do some really big project, that would the battery wouldn't be an issue. So that's kind of cool. Uh, they do make a waterproof housing for it, but again, the GoPro out of the box is already waterproof. So yeah, this would be a hard fight for that. But um, the footage turned out pretty good. Um, the tripod was really cool. Yeah, so I don't know if I would buy this over a GoPro, but maybe if the price came down a little bit, I would think about it. So thanks to the folks at Bruno for sending this out to me. Hope you guys have a good week and hope you enjoyed this camera review. Long.